So I'm getting ready for the sermon tomorrow for Slovenia and the topic is, yes, I had the topic, the vision and work of Women's Federation for World Peace. The vision and work of Women's Federation for World Peace. So, okay, if this is going to be my, okay, I'm talking and I've got this PowerPoint in front of me, so I think I will now do the screen share so that I can look at what I'm doing and it's screen to share. Okay, so let me move the controls to the other side. I'll put this slide at the beginning. The topic being the vision and work. Okay, let me set the timer on because basically I want to know how long I need and what I should, how I can focus. So this is 20 minute speech start. When Alfred asked me, to give a talk about the vision and work of Women's Federation for World Peace as the Sunday service, meaning sermon, I immediately thought of the United Nations. Why? Because Women's Federation is an ECOSOC organization and has the accreditation at the United Nations with the Economic Council. And the Economic Council, I have to write that out for social justice. Economic and Social Council of the United Nations. And okay, I'm going to take notes here on my on my sheet as well. ECOSOC status. And as Julia Moon said in her introduction video on the WWPI. International web page. We are active in 119 countries. And what is our work? Now, from the web page, our vision is women working together to realize one global family rooted in a culture of sustainable peace. A mission empowering women as peace builders and leaders in the family to transform the community, nation and world. Through education, advocacy, partnership, reconciliation and humanitarian service, Women's Federation for World Peace International aims to create an environment of peace and well-being for future generations and people of all races, cultures, and religious creeds. There are many aspects of the mission statement that I could address. The advocacy focus and our strong presence at the United Nations. A global team of young volunteers, interns, can mm -hmm, attend meetings, present research papers, statements, produce regular publications, 
and present recommendations to UN bodies for new appointments. Now here I would include my focus on the UN in Vienna, where we have been recently involved in the constructive dialogue process, which the UNIDC has really fleshed out recently and invited civil society representatives, NGO representatives, to come and cooperate with the United Nations to report to the United Nations and even make statements to the member states at the official meetings on crime, on drugs, crime prevention. And those areas cover UNTOC, which is organized crime. We've also been dealing with smuggling of migrants, trafficking of children, Now, as a mother and a representative of Women's Federation, I recognise my key strategy, my key focus is to build strong families. And as our vision statement at the beginning, women working together to realise one global family rooted in a culture of sustainable peace. So it's by building strong families and giving children a solid foundation, we can prevent a lot of crimes from happening in the first place. So I was working at the United Nations for the International Atomic Energy Agency. And one of the sections where I was working in nuclear security was prevention. And we see that our focus in crime and drugs is also prevention. And it's absolutely true that prevention is the main area of focus that we can make our contribution, however, our Women's Federation projects also provide a lot of remediation projects, education, and dealing with problems that have already occurred. Our issues, we need to know our issues, education and development, global citizenship, culture of peace, early childhood, sustainable development goal awareness, and reporting, 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 reporting is the key area where I see an incredible potential. I was going to use a negative word and say a need where we, we uh, haven't done enough. And I have learned to shift my language and my focus to the potential, the challenges that we have and the potential that we have to improve our reporting to a much, much higher level, including social media. And what I'm doing here now, giving this sermon. So what I really want to do is address particular issues and motivate and inspire others to get involved with the Women's Federation and particularly young people. Human rights and dignity, human responsibility, protection of the family, 
conflict prevention, women's leadership and political participation, reconciliation, safe cities and restorative justice. This slide on the screen right now is a copy of a presentation that was presented in one of our UN meetings. And I just did a screenshot and copied it, thinking it would be helpful for me in my preparations for this sermon. I recognise that a lot of this work has been actually done by the young interns. And I see a lot of potential for developing a good structure and organising this information in a very constructive way. The proactive engagement with civil society organisations at the United Nations, we have recognised here in Vienna that the UNODC has developed incredibly and has invited the civil society to participate much, much more. So what's important for us in Vienna is to educate ourselves, gain experience and build trust by joining coalitions, working groups, etc. Encourage local chapters to report to and partner with governments. So that's one thing I really want to do, to encourage you wherever you are to let your government and partner organisations know who you are and what you're doing. This is where we have an incredible for potential for development. Even amongst ourselves to communicate more effectively on what our various chapters are doing because we are an amazing international organisation. So it would be important to know what is happening in other places because as a whole, we are making an incredible contribution. And in the past, 15 years ago, when I was the representative for Women's Federation at various NGOs and meetings with in cooperation with the United Nations, I did not feel that I was getting the reports and the information from the field where many of our members are doing amazing good work and we need to know about that work. So currently we have an international website with, with, with lots of information on it and we need to find the ways to inform one another. What was I going to do? I was going to go to the WWPI webpage. Why? I've already lost my track. So the, inf yeah, okay. So WFWP International has information on it where we can find out about inter international. Okay, so here is the international organization and the mission statement that I showed you comes from the vision and mission here. So our vision, women working together to realize one global family rooted in a culture of sustainable peace. Our mission, empowering women as peace builders and leaders in the family to transform the community, nation and world through education, advocacy, partnership, reconciliation and humanitarian service. WFWPI aims to create an environment of peace and well-being for future generations and people of all races, cultures and religious creeds. And here you see the presentation by Julia Moon. It's only less than four minutes. 
about the Women's Federation. So this is the, the video. I'll just start it for you that you can see. God created women with and, an amazing... And you can look at it yourself here on the web page. And when you are on the web page, you see lots of other information about the history, the founding of the Women's Federation in 1992, and it goes until 2019. Okay, this is a very short history. Okay, just a few facts. Fine. So we got consultative status with the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations in 1997 and the NGO Department of Public Information. The first MEW, Annual Women's Conference for Peace in the Middle East, was held in 1997, and Lan Lanyang Moon became the second president of WWPI. Uh, is that 97 or 12? I think through the ECOSOC we got 97, yeah. So, yeah, 12. So the Global Women's Peace Movement was announced and at that time was called Able Women UN and it was at the same time that the UN Women was founded. So the thrust, the push came from within Women's Federation that we need women at the UN and the UN itself established UN women at the same time and we could not use the name women UN which we had planned to use. And so at that time it was changed then to Global Women's Peace Network. 2014, Yon uh, Moon became the third president WP celebrated its 25th anniversary and I already showed you the okay. So that's that, the history. And our founder, of course, is Dr. Hak Jahan Moon. Okay, so this is what I wanted. I wanted uh, to have this on the PowerPoint. History is calling for, okay. So I'm going to copy that. So the Women's Federation for World Peace was founded by Dr. Hak Jahan Moon and her late husband, Reverend Sun Young Moon, in 1992. Working together on the global arena for over 50 years, they supported one another in the mutual quest for peace. So I really see the need, the potential, the great value in the cooperation of man and woman working and cooperating together. Dr. Hak Jahan Moon leads through her example of peace leadership based on the feminine aspect of human nature. This leadership paradigm comes with a strong commitment to the realization of an individual's fullest potential. She is working with leaders in a range of sectors, including heads of state, parliamentarians, academics, scientists, religious leaders, and Nobel laureates to lay the foundation for an equitable world. By cultivating the arts, Dr. Moon desires to provide humanity with a tangible experience of a peaceful culture. She supports future leaders to become responsible global citizens by providing educational opportunities for youth. Having addressed the United Nations within one year of the founding of WFWP, she continues her heartfelt public message to audiences in prominent venues on issues that highlight women's responsibility for the betterment of humankind. Her approach in all these areas comes from a parental concern for the world and for future generations. She encourages women and men to go beyond their differences and work together as one human family. Actually, that could be a quote I could use on the whole thing. So that was our founder. So our story. Oh, there's another video there. Okay, so you can actually look at any of this. 
yourself by just going to the web page and today's meet the leadership is the new president mrs moriko hori now here in europe we are planning a women's federation leadership conference ah yes that's what i wanted to add i wanted to add the um the um Uh, the information about the conference in Cyprus because you have the opportunity, the chance to meet with the leaders of the European Women's Federation for World Peace and the international leader, Moriko Hori, who will be attending in Cyprus. And I think I'm going to stop my share here. And I'm... warmly encouraging you to be proactive, to do some research yourself, to look at the European webpage as well as the international webpage, to see what your country is doing and what is available publicly, to get involved in communicating and sharing. Our signature project the Bridges of Peace is the reconciliation ceremony where two people come together on a symbolic bridge and build a bridge of peace. And this reconciliation ceremony started off between enemy nations, America and Japan, after the Second World War and has developed into an incredible international project where individuals and nations have joined together in reconciliation through this Bridge of Peace ceremony, which includes a, a certificate that we celebrate, our new sisterhood projects, the new sisters that we gain through our ceremonies, through our Bridge of Peace ceremony. So I want to encourage you to communicate. Lanty's ready to communicate, to research, to give feedback, and to participate and to recognize that we can all serve one another and help each other. I'm going to need to, I can see I need to do a lot of work, but that's already the 20 minutes. So I'll see you later.